So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the Amazon ML challenge, which is a way to hone your machine learning skills. And through this, you can win cash prizes up to one lakh rupees. And uh, along with that, you can also get interviews for the role of applied scientist intern at Amazon. So the registrations are currently open and you can check out the link in the description. So today we are going to talk all about the challenge, how to solve the, what are the different rounds, how to go about it. And for that, we have with us Poojan, Poojan who was amongst the winning teams last year. So not the winning teams, he, his team was a winner in Amazon's ML Challenge 2023. And Poojan also interned at Amazon as an applied scientist intern, and he recently completed his internship. He's also a Kaggle master, and currently he's a student at NSUT, Netaji Subhash University of Technology. So hi, Poojan, welcome to the channel. Hi, thank you for having me. So let's start with the first question. So what is the ML challenge by Amazon and why should someone participate in it? So uh, Amazon India actually uh, has uh, an Amazon machine learning team based in Bangalore and they host uh, uh, recruiting challenges and recruiting programs for students, for new grads uh, basically. And uh, they host two uh, events, uh, two major events. One is Amazon ML Summer School, and then the other is Amazon ML Challenge. So ML Summer School, it recently ended, and uh, the ML Challenge is uh, this um, event where uh, students from all over India uh, participate, and uh, then the top teams will get an uh, get a chance to interview at Amazon for the applied science position. And why should someone apply for it? So, like uh, in Amazon, the uh, for all the major roles, usually there is the software developer role for uh, software developers, and then for machine learning or any data science related roles, there are two main roles. There is the data scientist and the applied scientist. So, applied science uh, for in at Amazon uh, has uh, captures both the uh, software developing skills as well as the machine learning skills uh, that can be applied on a product based level. So uh, that, that is one of the very esteemed positions at Amazon. So uh, it's a great opportunity for students if they want to go as an off campus opportunity. Okay, awesome. So let's come to the next important question. What is the eligibility? Who is eligible to participate in this contest? So the uh, the basic eligibility is that uh, the students should be graduating in the year tw next year 2025 or uh, two years after that in 2026, and uh, the student can be from any program like bachelors of engineering or BTech or uh, even masters MS MTech or even PhD as well. So last year was uh, the same eligibility and this year was also uh, the eligibility criteria is same, and uh, basically they are hiring for interns so. Uh, the student should be available for either three months or six months internship uh, in summer or winter. Okay, so basically, you should have any full time degree like PhD, ME, MTech, MS, MS by Research, BE, BTech in any engineering campus in India. So, any engineering college, if you have a degree, that's fine. And years 2025 or 2026. Another important thing you can participate only in teams. So, either a team of three to four members, you cannot participate individually. You can have cross teams. Uh, cross college teams basically but you cannot be a part of more than one team so these are all these are some instructions you can read in the link in the description cool so coming to the next question uh what what are the different rounds and what is the program structure so uh there are two main rounds first round is the ml hackathon based round where uh they will provide a data set and uh based on that data set uh, we'll be given a metric uh, and a target column that we'll have to predict uh, it might be a classification or a regression problem uh, that we'll know when once it starts, and um, uh, it will be a like it will have a live leaderboard just like Kaggle competitions or any other competitive ML competitions, and uh, the top ten people that uh, uh, that are uh, that are top ten in the leaderboard final leaderboard based on the target column, uh, they will uh, proceed to the second round, which is the uh, presentation round, uh, the final round. And uh, it will be a virtual round where uh, the, uh, all the top 10 teams will present their solutions uh, live uh, and uh, it will be streamed on Twitch, Amazon uh, Twitch channel. 
and uh, from there uh, there will be judges and jury and they will decide who is the final winner okay so then let's start with the first round that's ml hackathon this year it's on 13th 13 september onwards it will be a three day uh, hackathon so what happens there uh, and you will get a problem statement and data set and you have to submit the solution so like can you tell a little about this round yeah sure so technically it is not uh, a purely a hackathon where you won't have to develop a full fledged end to end product but uh, the main uh, goal is to have the most accurate predictions for the given data set so if i give the example for last year uh, they had given uh, an an nlp based data set where um, there were product uh, for every amazon product listing they had given the title the reviews the ratings and uh, the description of that product and corresponding to every product they had given uh, the box size the amazon boxes the uh, containers that we get the uh, dimensions of those boxes so for every product we had to train a nn an ml an ml model that can predict uh, like perform regression to predict the uh, dimensions of that box so uh, that was last year's problem and uh, we have, we were given a data set which was around 2.5 million uh, rows uh, for the training and for testing it we had around uh, 100000 rows 1 lakh rows we had and uh, the the metric was uh, mean precision average error i think it was that and uh, it was it was a modified metric but uh, the main uh, the, the basic was that and um, uh, the like we had a live uh, actually last year it was hosted on hacker or platform this year it is being hosted on unstop and uh, on hacker we had a live leaderboard and uh, it was also a 3 day event as well and um uh, like as soon as the event starts uh, the uh, teams have to train the ml model and uh, they uh, they will be giving a sample submission csv and uh, you have to submit the csv file only and uh, the csv file will be automatically scored and your you will get a position on the leaderboard so it will keep updating as you as team submit and uh, i think if uh, it is ending on 11:59 pm uh, 15 september so yeah so the leaderboard after the final leaderboard after that after they will also check for eligibility criteria that the teams are eligible and then uh, so yeah uh, is there any maximum number of submissions you can keep submitting uh, last year there wasn't any cap and like uh, you can keep submitting we had around uh, 200 submissions total and uh, like there is no cap i hope there is no cap this year as well so got they it. haven't mentioned anything on their website So can you tell some tips like how did you go about it because the first time you must have tried some models and then you know you, how did you know that okay what model to of course that this is not a very simple problem it requires yeah. some practice and you know you should have that familiarity with ml but still if someone wants to try their hands so uh, the main catch here is that the very short time span like there are only 3 days to do and uh, for given and like last year and even uh, when i participated last year i had uh, asked my seniors when they participate in the first edition and even there it's kind of a trend that the data set that they will provide is always very very huge and like uh, multiple gbs so uh, main tip that i will i will want to give is that you have to prepare with a one a kind of cloud or uh, some local setup where local hardware where uh, you can process that kind of load of data or uh, if it's not uh, possible then um, i i will suggest that you sample some like 10000 or 20000 rows and then process that in batches so uh, data processing pipeline uh, for that huge chunk of data should be uh, should be one of the first step first key step to do and then like uh, since there are only 3 days i would suggest that uh, if you get any error or if there is if any approach is not working uh just jump to any another approach because um and because as we know that ml models take uh, a significant amount of uh, the amount of time to train like uh, even last time we had trained for example a dberta model and that took around 24 hours only to train uh, around 3 epochs so uh, if there are any approaches that take that are taking like uh, significantly large amount of time so i would suggest skip that and go with an approach that is like uh, time efficient as well as it fetches you good results in the leaderboard 
okay so but in your case if it took 24 hours so was that the final uh solution that you guys submitted or how was it for, like that no part? like uh, as soon as we realized that it is taking a large amount of time we uh didn't go with that approach we had an really like our approach was very uh different we actually had an a knn based approach where uh it was very simple just uh, for uh, every test data uh, every test product we uh, identified the k nearest uh, products from the training data and then uh, on that on those k nearest neighbors we trained a meta model to predict the uh, product length so like uh, we didn't have to train anything basically it was just matching 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 okay so is it more trial and error based that you try something and then you move to the next thing or is it also you know you read research papers or how was it uh i like research papers will definitely help like even then even uh identifying which model to use on top of knn to identify the matching so like there will be some domain knowledge required but uh it is purely trial and error and i would suggest that if you are participating in a team of four then every uh like in the in the beginning all of the members should uh, try different approaches like uh, like for example for the first day and see which uh, approach is uh, performing the best and then uh, in the next two days build on top of that approach yeah anything else that comes to your mind regarding this hackathon phase any other tips uh like uh, you know like uh, I, I actually met up with some of the other teams top 10 uh, last year and we all had very similar experience participating and uh, we all shared a very good uh, a weird uh, instance that we didn't sleep uh, in these three days so uh, and that was quite helpful because in the night we were productive and uh, you know it is kind of uh, uh, how much uh, like uh, the more effort you will give the more uh, better chances there are for you to win so i will also suggest that you give your maximum and uh, you we can sleep later okay so that shows the level of dedication and yeah i mean if it's just 3 days and if it takes that much time i don't think it's possible to win if you sleep at all like i mean like no, forget winning if you want a decent score then all, so it's very hard so got it so uh, coming to the next round the finale how was it it says that you know the top 10 teams will go to the finale and then you know you'll have to present in front of a jury so what happens there so like uh, the first uh, the first round once the first round ends the, uh, the amazon uh, team will contact you via email uh, like congratulating that you are selected for the second round and then uh, i don't think the second round will be hosted on unstop at all so uh, they will have their own uh, twitch and uh, chime and uh, uh, other software to uh, conduct the second round and um, so basically it, it goes like uh, they will uh, give you they will uh, you will have the team will have choice to select the time slot like when they want to present the solution and uh, once the once every time slot is decided uh, there will be around 3 to 4 judges uh, do they are also like director level or uh, very senior uh, leader level uh, judges mostly apply scientists only and uh, they will be like uh, once you present they will ask questions based on that and uh, the questions will also be very detailed so uh, i will suggest that whatever approach you use even if it is like very abstract uh, you get a very you have a very in depth knowledge on that area okay and uh, you also have to you also have to say that why did you choose this approach uh, like yeah you have to justify your solution like uh, even it is a good idea to show what you tried and what didn't work and what worked so so that your solution becomes very stronger and you have a good backing but uh, yeah so like uh, what of i think it should cover from end to end all the experiments as well as what worked and finally what the solution was and uh, it would be good to uh, include some advantages of your solution or even some disadvantages like it if it is not scalable or, or something like that so so how are the top 3 teams selected uh, based on the top 10 teams because top 10 teams go into the final so yeah. how are the top 3 teams selected so uh, last year it might be purely a coincidental that uh, the top 3 from the leaderboard were directly the top 3 winners as well but uh, so mostly they provide the rubrics where uh, it is like novelty of the solution and how uh, uh, the knowledge the team has based on their solution 
as well as like uh, other parameters like scalable or not or uh, if it is directly uh, deployable in their system as well so uh, these like uh, i think last year i don't particularly remember the rubric but uh, these were the overall so now coming to the next part uh, that is the getting the internship as applied scientist intern at amazon so the top 50 teams so top 3 teams are declared as the winner but top 50 teams get a chance to get the interviews for this role so how does that go and uh, like you know how are the interviews or what are the next steps so uh, this year top 50 is a bit new like uh, last year the and uh, only the top 10 teams were interviewed but uh, i think it's a good that it's good that they are interviewing top 50 this time and uh, mostly it is kind of uh, a standard process where uh, the teams will have to uh, they will give a uh, some kind of form where uh, you will have to uh, tell them that you are interested and then they will take an oa uh, the oa will have like uh, around 20 mcq questions and uh, two dsa questions dsa should be dsa would be like easy to medium uh, level and uh, once you clear the oa uh, the first round will be again dsa round and uh, you will be asked uh, two dsa questions and um, if you and those dsa questions are kind of medium level uh, yeah like media like if you are if you know the basics of basic data structures then uh, you will be able to do it and uh, once the dsa round is completed uh, there is the ml breadth round where uh, the interviewer will ask like uh, how like how many or what is the breadth of the domain ml domain you know about like uh, they will ask about all the possible uh, topics in data science like computer vision nlp and even the uh, like uh, latest topics like uh, transformers or diffusion and um, so it basically tests the overall knowledge that the candidate has and uh, after that there is an ml depth round where uh, based on the candidate uh, choice uh, they will be interviewed uh, on the topic that uh, they are uh, expert in so like uh, for me it was nlp so i was uh, asked in depth about nlp as well as some key ml concepts like uh, regularization and neural network based concepts and uh, I, i would say the ml depth round was quite difficult like uh, it should the candidate should have a very like uh, in depth mathematical uh, knowledge as well like you will be supposed to do the uh, calculations by hand for any kind of uh, ml algorithm or nlp algorithm and uh, once that is done uh, after around after around couple months you should get uh, a call from the recruiter if you are selected or not So oh, thank you so much, Poojan, for this, uh, you know, for the detailed answers to everything. And I am pretty sure this will help everyone who is participating. And also, hats off to your dedication that you guys didn't sleep and you worked that hard. So hoping that this year also you participating and this year also you make it to the top three. So thank with you. that, uh, thank you so much again. Thank you. Bye. So hi guys, how did you find the video? Please comment, like, share, subscribe because I only post useful. content on my channel and i am not posting videos like you know a day in the life of an sde and things like that uh, so to you know sustain this kind of content where i have to you know ask people to come on the channel and i have to make these videos i would like some support and i try my best to make a video related to any opportunities that are coming up for students in engineering colleges so i require a little bit of support uh, so currently my followers are 4494 uh, that less than 4500 so please it's a small humble request that if you found this video useful do like share and subscribe and i'll also post a lot of other more important videos with that thank you meet you in another video bye bye